Hello everyone. Since I got my new laptop, I am able to make new tutorials once again. Today I will do a tutorial about pets. Okay, since I had a person in my group that had a problem with pet tool, I will make you a little tutorial about it. I will make this just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what we do is we take the pet tool over here. Yeah. And I will just make a pet tool. Doesn't matter how or what. I'll just make this one. And over here in your layers, create a new one. Okay. Then oh, we'll make this a little bit smaller and then you can see. Okay. You can see all my brushes, but I'm going to try. Somewhere in this thingy I have. Oh, I made one. Stupid me. Okay, here. This is my brush that I made myself. How can you make a new brush? Okay. New. Okay, see here. So if you want to make a brush like this one, then you just pick your default brush you have from GIMP, like the biggest one over here. And take your brush and with your scale tool, scale it to 10. And you have a big one. Make a new layer. And then just put the brush in here. And what you do, right click on this new layer. And then you go to Alpha to Selection. So you can see it's selected. Then you go to Select Shrink. And then you can shrink it down about 30. Okay. And just press your delete button. And there you go. Now you do select none. What you do now is when you have this layer selected, just go to your keyboard and press Ctrl C. So you copied it. Then you go to edit, paste as, new brush. You get this one. Give it a name over here. I'll just call it Storm and you give it a name again. You can keep the spacing like that and then you say OK. Then you can close this, don't save it because as you can see, your brush is already in here. You can put this on there. See? There's the brush. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. I still have this pad, so if you go want to check your pads, you have these pages and you click on the third one. And you will see here unnamed. This is your pad. If you click on this one, you will see your pad tool. See, that's the pad you made. Okay, then go back to your normal layers. So what you're going to do now is scale your brush. So if I use my brush, it's very big. You can't see it over here. I'll make it smaller. See, there's my brush. That's my brush. So I made it small. I'm going to do this. Okay, so this is the brush I'm going to use. And this is how big it is 0 0.10. And what you can do over here, stupid, I can't show you. Okay, okay, what you're gonna do over here is spacing. If you want to have a little bit more space, you can move this up. I'm going to keep it like that and see what it does. So you go to edit, then stroke pads, and you will get this one. And if you say stroke with a paint tool, make sure it's the paintbrush, and then you say stroke. And then this happens. So 
So if I undo this and I make my spacing smaller, and I do it again, stroke that, stroke, and then it does this. So you can see it makes a chain. So with a simple circle brush, you can make a chain looking like this. And you can make any kind of shape with it if you like. You can make another pad, for example, into this one. And when we go to edit, pad, stroke, we will have another chain. See? So basically, this is how I make chains. I hope this was useful to you and you can do something with it. Otherwise, let me know what you want to know about the pad tool and I will try and make a tutorial about it. See you next time, guys. Bye.